everybody. Zach here, just coming at you from the shop here. Uh, we're doing a little bit of pulse MIG welding today. So this is different from your standard short circuit MIG. Uh, I don't fully understand the, all the differences there. Uh, basically, if my understanding of this is correct, is that the power supply pulses the weld current on and off. And then this particular machine, uh, we're gonna be doing pulse on pulse today. So it varies the weld current in addition to cycling the, uh, you know, cycling the weld current there. Basically what it gives you is a MIG-like TIG look and a little bit better weld than you would get out of just a standard short circuit MIG, uh, especially as far as aluminum, stainless steel, which is what I was really interested in. Uh, I just don't have any 98.2 at the moment. I'm waiting on Indian Oxygen to get me a bottle of that. Um, so yeah, we're playing around with some Pulse MIG uh, on aluminum today. I have a little bit of uh, two inch SCED 40, or SCED 80, excuse me, uh, pipe left over from a class that I taught a while ago, and we're just kind of playing around with it today, see what we can do. Uh, I'm gonna go through the machine here and show you what I got. We're doing this for the second time because my wireless mic died for the second time this go round. So yeah, we'll uh, take you through the settings here. All right, so this machine is, does a whole lot more than I understand to do. Uh, so basically, I've been using it on MIG 2T. You can stick weld, you can TIG weld, and you can set it up to do other stuff uh, as far as MIG welding goes. I'm gonna show you what I actually have figured out here. So basically, uh, you have different programs. You can set uh, for, you know, just standard pulse, double pulse, and they have another setting there, which is precision something welding i forget exactly what that means uh really neat uh you can weld down like super thin material with it i was playing around with that the other day but we're not going to go ahead and use that we're going to go ahead and use double pulse here uh 4043 wire 035 select that whoops actually helps if you uh set the right hit the right button there uh, what's really cool about this machine is it is a synergetic machine. So basically you change this and it will change your voltage. So it's really more you're just varying the you know output there. Uh, now the way this is set up is it has a slider on the MIG gun that varies the overall output of the welder, which is awesome, where Say so if you're coming up to the edge of a joint there, you can back off and not blow out the corner. And likewise, when you're starting off, you can turn it all the way up and really burn it in. And then as you go along there, you can kind of back it down. And it's a synergetic adjustment. So basically you're changing not just your voltage or your wire feed, but you're changing both. And this is also, uh, I believe it is a 10 foot gun. And it is not a push pull gun. It's just a graphite lined the old uh, spool is just in the side of the machine here. You know, so your standard 10 pound spool or you know, whatever spool that is in aluminum, I actually don't buy enough of those to really know. But anyway, yeah, it's really neat. This varies the output of the machine and you're gonna be able to hear that in the video here. Um, you know, as I come up to attack, I can back that off, work over it and then get back on it. And uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty dang impressive. I uh, have just kind of scratched the surface of what you can do with this guy here. But you can change a whole bunch of stuff here. This is just how I have it set up. Um, uh, he went through and set up a bunch of stuff and I kind of tweaked it to where I liked it. So your start speed, your start timer. Whoops. Your burn back, I ended up turning this all the way down. Um, I don't know, I kept, you know, s smoking tips if I didn't have it turned down. Pinch, I believe, is your stick out. And then you can set, whoops, your, uh, whoops. Uh, your timer, that's the slope down time whenever you let off the gun. Your pre and post flow time. And a whole bunch of other stuff. Anyway. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed with this machine. I, uh, like I said, he brought it out as a demo. I may end up buying it. Um, really anxious to try it out on stainless steel here, but like I said, I'm waiting on the right gas. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead, put some clips in here.
All right, so as you saw that, I just have that set up in the positioner, uh, beveled the pipe. I did a root pass with the MIG there. Didn't show that one. It was okay. I've never, you know, MIG welded aluminum as far as a root pass goes on pipe though. Anyway, but the cover pass there, I wanted to show you because it turned out really nice. Uh, this would be awesome as far as doing uh, ammonia lines. I don't know if anybody out there has done that. Basically, uh, uh, ammonia chillers and like big refrigerators, uh, a lot of their lines are aluminum and they get TIG welded. This would be a really nice option. I don't know that I would necessarily do the root pass with this, but as far as your fill and your cover, this would just be killer for that because, I mean, you can just go really fast compared to taking it out. So, anyway, pretty slick machine. I uh, can do some more videos with it here while I have the opportunity to. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Please uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, tell me what else you'd like to see welded with this machine. I have it for a little bit longer before he picks it up. Anyway, so yeah, I'm Darlington Farm. Please click that subscribe button and thank you for watching.